yourself to you, but I strongly suggest to possess at least. Uh, if you go to church, for example, if you are Muslim, so you have the Quran. And if you go to the church, you have the Bible, whether or not you read the Bible or Quran or the whatever. So it's kind of your Bible as a computer scientist. So I strongly suggest you to have the uh, computer science subject textbook, especially core subject. I still read my the old compiler textbook or the computer architecture textbook uh, from time to time that I used 20 years ago or something like that. So please, uh, the, which means, uh, go back to the uh, another uh, good news. So please uh, read the material before you come to the classroom. So I'm going to add to the uh, Many questions, I'm not sure the many questions, but sometimes from time to time I'm going to ask you the question. It's uh, the, your responsibility to prepare and uh, uh, review the uh, class, the contents. The, definitely the class hour is not the enough time, it's already the 15 minutes. It's gone, so uh, one and uh, 15 minutes is not enough to uh, discuss and uh, learn everything. So the other part is your responsibility. That's the first change. The second change is, the, what is the title of this class? Okay. Operating system. Everybody knows the operating system. So, how can I turn? There's a way to Made the black. I did the last time. From here. I think that there's a way to make the black. I did the oh yes. So what kind of operating system ever use? Windows 7, still use a Windows 7? No. Or <laughs> <laughs> Windows 10? Windows. Any other? Mac. Oh, Mac. Mac is operating system? No. It's a Mac OS. Mac OS. What is the current version of the Mac OS? Sierra. 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 So recently I updated, but I never used it. I'm not a big fan of <laughs> but and my wife used, but uh, she doesn't know anything about computer science. <laughs> Any other? Yeah. Unix. 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 So Unix. among the Unix, there are a lot of different types of Unix. Anyone? Red Hat. Red Hat. It's kind of the same family like uh, you and uh, your cousin, but it's not the same parents. So let's talk about that. As a Linux, Linux yeah, later, the so Unix operating system. Anyone? CentOS. CentOS. And Ubuntu. Ubuntu is part of this. Later we will list them. Let us have Ubuntu. CentOS is a Linux or the Unix. Linux. I think there is a Linux. Debian. And so on. And the Unix. Sun OS. Sun Microsystem. Right? right now it's part of the Oracle Day Corporation. Any other? That OS. And uh, AIX. And uh, IBM OS something, COX, and uh, something like that. Any others? Oh, 
open source. Open source is kind of characteristic. Some of them are open source, some the others commercial. You need to pay. Like the Windows is not open source, you need to pay. So that's the open source. So that's good. The comment about the we will see. You forgot the very important Android. operating system, two operating system in your hand. Android one is and iOS. Android. Another one is iOS. iOS. These are the portable operating system. And there are others, but nowadays it's less than 1%. The market share, like the Symbian and the others. So pretty much. Any other operating system? Oxygen OS. Oxygen OS. What is that? <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> Plus, I think the at least 10,000, 100,000 of operating system we have. So even some of the operating system, there's no name. It's just uh, the name in your, even the some of the device, electric device, has the operating system, embedded operating system. You heard about the IoT? Yeah. What is IoT? It's everywhere. <coughs> Every device are connected. That device has also operating system, and also and a lot of educational purpose, developing purpose. Raspberry Pi is one of the very popular operating system also. So many many of the such operating system, which means you already know some of them. Okay, then this is Windows, and then all the other looks like the very similar. Right? So, even the iOS is from the part of Linux system. It used the, uh, the later we will discuss the Linux kind. Android is the Java version. It based on the Java virtual machine. It can be considered as the operating system later we will discuss. So, however, the most of the students in this room use the Laptop or the Windows, so which means you already familiar in your the class, other class in the computer science the major. Any student, non computer science major in this room? I don't think so. Okay, so so in this class in this semester, uh, I'm not going to use the Windows. Okay, it's your responsibility if you really like to know the Windows. Instead. Um, any the lecture or other project, including project. And so which means I'm not going to use the Windows programming because you already know. So you can you already learn or you will learn in the other class. So I really enjoy the pain <laughs> my student. So this is a good time to know about the Unix programming and other program languages in this class. So it's mostly the Unix or Linux based operating system class. For that, I do not have operating system Linux, but I never use it. How can we deal with such a, do I need to purchase new operating system? As he mentioned, a lot of them are open source. Also you can, I use the last cl class virtual machine. What is a virtual machine? You can use multiple uh, operating systems. In one window. It's not real machine. It's a virtual machine. Okay? Which means we pretend. It's a, the, we will see what is a real machine, what is a virtual machine later, but that's the one of the things that we can easily understand the, what is the operating system. Okay? Operating system? Operating system. But it's not really exist, but the, we can the, pretend. That operating system, so virtual machine. So if you do not know what is a virtual machine, don't worry, we will from time to time we will talk. But anyway, so last semester I used a virtual machine on your laptop. So student install the virtual machine player and the virtual machine image and the practice. This time I try to use cloud. What is a cloud? <laughs> cloud. <laughs> <laughs> then Houston has a lot of cloud right now. It's uh, the rain. So, 
Anyone who took the cloud computing class before? So what is the cloud computing? Cloud computing is nothing but uh, it provides you the on uh, off premise like they have the premises there and you have to just click 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 and build a virtually. Uh, Why not? I do not have a mouse. Click. What? I do not have a mouse. So I you can use your own mouse, but, uh, but I do not have a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, click is one of the interface. That's one thing I'd like to mention. So, you understand what is a cloud? I think that everybody knows Amazon Cloud, Google Cloud, Backup Cloud, your cell phone has a cloud. Cloud is not in your hand, instead, it's somewhere. Due to the such a characteristic, it's called a cloud. There's no physical shape of the architecture. Sometimes it's called architecture or design of the such a computer system. I do not know, but the, it looks like a virtual machine. Actually, it used the virtual machine technique. Okay? Physically, it has one, but the many, many users believe this is my computer. Using what? Actually, the main part is the network. So using the network, we don't realize the such a distance look like the, in my hand, or at my home, at my office. So, anyone who ever used a commercial, the cloud service? What? Amazon. Amazon, Amazon. AWS. Mm -hmm. Azure. Azure. That is a Microsoft. Microsoft. And any other? Google. And plus, Google Cloud. Google also cloud provide the clouding servicing. It's a little bit behind of the AWS. AWS has already started. It's the first the market share company for the cloud computing. Then the Google catch up this. So uh, since many of the users already use the AWS by clicking, 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 I don't like the window based interface. So. This semester, I'd like to use the Google Cloud the system for all my class, including operating system, database, and the data mine. So you, you don't have to install anything, virtual machine or software, or project the operating system. Instead, the, I'm going to provide, the, recently I got the grant, the use of the Google Cloud computing service. 50 bucks. I think the 50 bucks is enough for your the semester long the project and everything. So 50 bucks, then you will create the account and you don't have to create the account using anyone who never used the Google account, do not have the Google account. I think the everybody has. So using your Google account, we can just, it's like the, what is that, gift card, Amazon gift card or any gift card, you can just type the code, then you can use the up to the 50 bucks of the any computer system. There are a bunch of different, including most of these things, plus the other service are plus operating system class, we don't use many other, only the operating system, which is called the virtual machine, the uh, from the cloud computing environment. So we will use the Google Cloud in this class. That is another major change. Then your project, the most of the project in our department is based on the C sharp. C sharp is the most popular one, right? And the, uh, the ASP.NET. Nowadays, I think the C sharp is more popular, right? No, it's still ASP.NET. No, it's Python. Python, except the Python. <laughs> Python, I will explain it later. So, program. The pro there are two major projects I'm going to briefly introduce the today, but the later I will explain in detail. The, there are two main projects. This project will be based on the Google Cloud, which means this is just one of the drawback problem, not problem. The characteristic of the Google Cloud is the mostly command line interface. If you already took the Unix programming, or the, if you are familiar with the command line interface, so very easy to catch up. But uh, you never use just clicking, clicking, clicking. You need to catch up. So such a the new interface. Then the, because of that, the program language that you can use is very limited. C, C++, Python. Actually, Python cannot be considered, but I will accept the Python this time. So 
If you never use this kind of program, it's another your challenge in this semester. But this is a good for you, definitely, I believe. So no pain, no gain. So if you pain more and more, so you will get a lot. So please, uh, if you do not know any of these program languages, I think that I suggest a Python. Actually, Python is also a high-level language, so, but so you can pretend the system programming. Most of the project related to the system programming. If you do not know what is the system programming, don't worry, we will discuss later. Okay, so these are the overall thing uh, regarding to the operating system. So, any questions so far? You should have the question, who you are. So my name is So I am a professor of the computer science department since 2006. This is my 12 years to best. So then the, I mostly teach data or data uh, related the subject data mining, big data, or the NoSQL database, and plus operating system. Operating system is also closely related to, to the such a subject. So then, um, my email ID is first the two letter of the first name and last name at bridgeport.edu. But the, I receive the, at least the 100 email every day. So from time to time, I it couldn't uh, pay attention to your mail regarding to the subject. The best way is using Canvas the message. I really tried my best to respond as quick as possible. So at least uh, one day. So sometimes uh, in the middle of the class, I respond. But so if you email me, sometimes uh, so I cannot. So Canvas because it's classified. So, by the uh, subject, so I easily recognize who you are and the how can I. So that is the uh, way to connect or uh, ask you the question. If you have any problem, so email me, or uh, send the Canvas message to me. So anyone who never used the Canvas, I think so I don't have to explain. But most of the class activity will be done by the Canvas submission or the homework and everything will be based on the canvas thing. So then, let's the, use the, the syllabus. My office is in the South Seoul, so this is the problem. I'm the only professor who is in the South, so not in the engineering building. So I think the most of you guys, many of them are the uh, graduate students. It's uh, the North Shore and South Shore, and the first floor is a 107. But most of the time, it's locked, except uh, during my office hour. So during my office hour, mostly it's the uh, Tuesday, I will leave it open so you can uh, access it. Otherwise, you can uh, send a message, Canvas message by appointment, or uh, you can contact the GA. I have GA to have, it's not updated here, Donna. That's it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So he will be in charge of the uh, exercise lot. Uh, I even explained that, so I will explain the briefly. Exercise lot and data are the project grading and the homework grading. Okay? So if you have any question about such a thing, especially undergraduate student, uh, contact the GA, uh, he will help. So, don't pay attention too much the grading part. It's mostly similar, but uh, it will be changed based on your overall performance. So mostly the 20 or 25 percent of the midterm and final exam each, and uh, project one and two. These are the uh, the 20 percent. The lab is a project as a. Total the 30 percent, 25 to 30 percent, and 5 percent attendance, 5 percent the homework and quiz, something like this. Total 100 percent. 
So especially the attendance check, as you realize it takes a longer than 10 minutes, I'm not going to check your attendance by calling. Instead, I have the, I found the one app on Canvas, it's a keepinall.com. So uh, if needed, I'm going to use the keepinall.com, I will explain at the time. And, but mostly uh, this semester I'm going to offer the maybe probably the six or seven times of every other week, the pop-up quiz. Pop-up quiz is not the schedule, so whenever I feel bad, so I'm going to have over the public quiz using carhood.com. So the first, the public quiz will be the after chapter two, probably. So at the time, I will explain. What chapter one? So I cannot remember exactly, but the, <coughs> I will explain at the time. This public quiz will not be made up. So we, if you miss the public quiz, that's it, okay? No other excuse, even medical excuse, I cannot the arrange the makeup because it's a pop-up. Even I do not know. If I too fast, I'm going to offer more the pop-up quiz. If I feel the student may not understand the class, I will have the more pop-up quiz. But uh, if I'm in a hurry where the, you want look like the understand everything, I'm not going to offer the many pop-up quiz. It's not scheduled, okay? Depending on the overall the schedule and the situation. So, that's one thing, so I cannot, you remember, that I cannot offer the makeup, the pop-up quiz. So if you miss, that's it. Then, uh, the main purpose of the pop-up quiz is review of the one or two previous chapters. Okay, just read. Very simple, very easy, you don't have to study. Okay, just the, for example, Professor Lee is handsome. Throw off first. It's very easy. But that will be used for also attendance check. If I'm offering the pop-up quiz, automatically that will be considered as the attendance. Okay? So I know sometimes this is uh, the 9 30 to 10 45. Some of the students commute using the train, using the the shuttle is a little bit behind the schedule in based on my last semester, five to ten minutes. So I I'm trying, but uh, I cannot guarantee so uh, to wait for your arrival. Please do your best to be uh, in the classroom on time. So that will be the uh, pop up quiz using the code. That will be also considered as the attendance check. And uh, definitely grading distribution will be changed if I um, apply the uh, grading distribution very strictly, I think the half of students will fail this class. So don't be distracted or depressed of the number itself because uh, the depend, sometimes it, it depends on how much generous the GA is, but uh, sometimes doesn't matter the whether you got the 70 or 100, but it, the problem, whether it's uh, the distribution of the, such a grade. If most of students got the 60 out of 100, looks like bad, but uh, I don't think that's really bad, okay? Because I'm going to apply the curve at the end. So don't worry about too much such a great distribution. Okay, so this is the overall schedule. Uh, you need to remember the midterm exam will be the October 18th and the final exam, I do not know. Some of the students uh, really miss your mom and dad, so would like to go back to your home. So I'd like to book a ticket like the, uh, the December 5th or 6th. I know that's cheaper than the, you, the regular, but I cannot consider you the such a situation. Even that this will be the, the arranged by the race shop is probably the race shop is already. The, I will check, but the, this the fi final exam of this class will be the assigned by the race shop office. Then you can see the board character. This is the exercise lab. So uh, we will have the over six times of exercise lab in this class throughout the semester. Last time I did the exercise lab in the computer lab. There's no computer lab. 75 for 75 students. Instead, anyone who 
I cannot ask such a thing. But in this class, so we will have the exercise lab using your laptop. Okay? The laptop doesn't have to be very high yet, so fast. No, you don't have to. As long as it can be connected using Wi-Fi. Sometimes Wi-Fi is not reliable when 75 students connect at the same time, but it doesn't need a very high end the bandwidth because we are going to use the, uh, the Google Cloud. So please bring your laptop uh, whenever we have exercise. Work. Then that will be the, your preparation for the exercise. Work. You don't have to install anything. The Google Chrome is enough, pretty much enough to do your exercise. Work. Any question? So, problem, if you do not have a laptop, solution, ask your friends. <laughs> so, that is, and also this is a good idea to use during the classroom, you can use uh, your data plan for hotspot if you believe the Wi-Fi, UV Wi-Fi is not reliable, okay? But mostly it's okay if you are using the night, night what is the name of it? Yeah, night Wi Fi, not UB Air 2. Okay, then first exercise will be the next week, the Wednesday. At that time, I'm going to give the coupon for your the Google Cloud that should be used for your uh, the exercise lab and the project throughout the semester. What if I never use the Google Cloud or the, such a the unit environment? Do I teach? In this class, GA and me will try to give the more information or practice for the uh, Google Cloud. However, it's not enough, so I'm going to provide the more material. But after the class and during the weekend, is you need to catch up. Okay, it's very fun. Actually, not very fun, but uh, you can enjoy. As a computer science student, you can enjoy so, such a Google Cloud uh, environment. So next week, Wednesday, bring your laptop, full charge, because we do not have enough out power outlet. So that is another, uh, we have the several, but not pretty much enough. I'm, I'm not sure whether I can bring the, uh, the extension, the hurt, but uh, please uh, full charge it and bring your laptop, then uh, we can do the exercise one. Is it working for the Google Cloud? It's just monitoring, right? The cell phone, Google app, GCP. So we cannot use GCP. Okay. Then there is sometimes a homework one, two, three. If you go to the campus, it's already posted. So I'm not going to remind in this class. So instead, if homework one is due on the September eighth. So, so submit before the September 8th, okay, before September 8th. However, sometimes, sometimes the class may be canceled due to the campus close or some sort, or the behind of the schedule. At that time, you can ask the GA and GA can adjust the time, okay, due date, okay. So I'm not going to pay the remind you regarding to the homework. It's just your responsibility to check if there is assigned homework and do the homework, then submit it. Okay, then the project. I'm going to explain a little bit more, but the full those who do not have the background in the Unix programming, so I'm going to briefly introduce them that you can be the ready for the project. There are two projects in this semester using the Google Cloud virtual machine, Google GCP the machine. Okay, first one is the Unix shell and the programming selection feature. So, how many of you ever used the shell programming? What shell? Shell script. So, what kind of shell? Uh, uh, bash. Bash shell. Same. You don't, you don't, same, same. 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 Any other? The bash shell is most, yes. Coin shell, C shell, the just shell, the, there are a lot of shell programs. If you do not know what is a shell, don't worry, we will talk later. But shell is most outside the programming to use the operating system. What about Windows? I never use the shell. Nowadays, the Windows also has the PowerShell as well as Bash shell also. 
So shell is like the shell. Okay? So using the shell programming, you are able to execute the programming. You are able to run the program, or the, uh, like the, you can edit the file. You can do m most of the thing as a user of operating system. So, but due to the characteristic of Windows, so we forgot such a the nature. So I'd like to go back to the such a the low level interface, the Unix. Shell programming. Also, first project, you will the, do the programming to create a very, very simple shell programming. Using what? At that time, we are going to use the system library. What is the system library? You forgot you learned? <laughs> so, we will cover the what is the system library, system programming in this class near soon. But you will use the, not the API level. It's a kind of a system API. So you need to use the, such a system API. Okay? So for that, the program language is, uh, any program language is possible as long as uh, that utilizes the system library. Okay? So, but Java does not use the system library. As you know, the Java is virtual machine. Okay? So, I don't understand what is a virtual machine. Why the Java? So we will discuss uh, later in more detail. Java is not uh, accepted. And the Windows program, because we are not going to use uh, Windows, Windows also used uh, its own system library, Win32 API, Sorry. or Windows API. Shiri would, would write to answer. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, but Windows, because you are already familiar with the Windows programming, so this time, this is a good time to learn another the important system library, system programming. So using most popular one is C or C++. Plus, Python is acceptable. Python actually does not use directly system library, but it has the system library, <laughs> like the API, the package. So you can pretend. So, if you do not have a background in C or C++, I suggest. So even the C++, you cannot use the Visual Studio because we are going to use the Unix environment and the Linux environment. Mm -hmm. So GCC. Yeah, you need to use the GCC. So I don't know how to use the GCC. Actually, it's not much different if you already use the C++ in the Visual Studio. But the another choice is a Python. So if you do not uh, have any background of the Python, I don't think it takes a time because I practiced last summer with the high school student. Even high school student, the after a couple of class, they can do the Python program. It's a very straightforward program, and nowadays much much more important. So I strongly suggest to start to learn the Python if you. Uh, uh, the, not familiar with uh, such a uh, the Unix uh, the programming. So using that, the rule will implement uh, one very simple the shell program. 